right, we've got uh, we've got this area up here, which if we look, um, this area that we uncovered with a secret door appears to actually lead to to, to the area here. So we'll just have a quick look up here first. You rang. We'll send Imuin in first to check for traps and open locked chests, etc., etc. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Hoping that she doesn't die I in the process. We have already been in here, so we just. We just this was a. Tra this was a, a trapped. Uh, we dark horizons if we don't change our ways. Trapped chest down here. We have a corridor. Oh, there is a dead body here. Now that could be a sign that there's a trap. Some other poor fool. In fact, there could be two traps. Some other poor fool uh, <laughs> scuppered uh, by uh, by traps laid in this corridor. In fact, I'm very apprehensive to go down any further. To be honest with you, <laughs> what's her, what is her fine traps? It's quite high. It's a hundred, so she should be able to detect every possible trap. Tis <laughs> just like the tongues of my old clan. Don't know how close to this trap she has to be before she reveals it. There you go, there's a trap there. Okay, I think we're going a bit further <coughs> away from our goal here. We'll bear this in mind. In fact, we'll unlock this trap now. And then we'll come back down here later. Going a little bit further away from where we need to be, which is up here for now. All right. Locked. What a surprise! Woo! Oh my God! Look at this. Bullets plus two, a whole crap ton of uh, healing potions. I wonder if, they're, wonder if they're trying to tell us something on, here. Babe. You're going to need these, pal, at some point. On, Twelve healing potions, you're going to need them. Um, I'm beginning to think that these darts that we're picking up are probably going to end up taking up too much space. Plus two bullets are definitely the most welcome, to be honest with you. Twelve healing potions. Right, we're gonna give go down ten. Give Kagan another five to make him ten. Give these to Dawn to make him eleven. No, he can't have more than go down. That's ridiculous. Uh, five, five. There we go. What you want? I've done had enough of this. Just be careful, just be careful. Nice and slow. Oh. Okay, some traps. Oh, another one. I wonder what happens if she encounters a trap that she can't get rid of. Mind you, if she has a hundred fine traps, perhaps she can un disarm all of them. We're getting so much stuff here. Look at all this. Look at it all. We can't possibly take it all. It's <laughs> guys. You rang. Guys. Right, what's um, this finding too much loot here. <laughs> Help me out, if you will, please. 
right. Uh, yeah. We've got, we've got tons of potions of Master Thievery here. I, I actually went out there and to Baldur's Gate, spent money on potions of Master Thievery, and we're getting an absolute load of them from the tower itself. I bet Godan's kicking himself right now. What a waste of money, he's muttering to himself. If I realised that I would have got Master's potions of Thievery from here, I wouldn't have spent money, bloody money on the... Anyway, uh, acid arrows. Arrows plus one, and bolts that we can't identify, but we know what they are. These are arrows plus two. There must be bolts plus two, right? Now Dawn's bags are full. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. Right. The bolts are going to have to go, aren't they? The, the, the bolts are going to have to go at some point. They're just It's just too much. I don't know how we always seem to forget that Kagan has space in his bags. He always ends up sort of tapping his feet, humming away in the corner, whilst, whilst Godin's passing stuff to Dawn and Dawn's passing stuff to him, and we're all sort of confused with uh, who's got what. And Kagan always seems to escape. He'll just seem to sit there whistling. Woo -doo 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 -doo. What? Oh! You want to give me something? Oh, why don't you just ask? I'm sat here with yep. nothing in my bags. I've done had enough of this. Uh oh. Oh, she did it. Oh, she did it. Right, we got a large shield. We got a scimitar. Bullets plus two. Bullets plus two. Goes in there. Arrows of ice. Dawn has some of those. Darts of wounding. Go down. Go down. How many healing potions have we got? Six. Plus all of the ones that we've just given ourselves. So ten, ten, ten. That's th ooh, 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 We've got tons. Absolutely tons. In fact, we're full. Arrows of Ice is full as well. I think we're going to drop them. I'm loath to just drop things willy nilly. Until we physically cannot carry any more. We're not going to drop anything. He can't carry anything else now. Alright. Kagan, it's now time to step up to the plate. In fact, because you, because you, Kagan, are the person that actually can use bolts every so often, why don't you bloody carry him? You're the one with a crossbow, for God's sake. So you carry the damn bolts. Yeah, you can't carry, you can't use the darts, but look, you can certainly use the bolts. Right. Are we done now? We're done. So how's Delex Tower? Oh, it's great. It was uh, about half an hour worth of fighting monsters and about two hours worth of inventory management. <laughs> this is the nature of the beast. Not well, I'm complaining. I love getting loot. I love it. So we've got some kind of a blacksmithy here. Oh, what do you know? We got arrows, we got darts, we got everything. It's like a bloody sail. Closing down, everything's gotta go. Oh, we got more, some more bullets, some more darts, we got a crossbow, some more arrows, some more darts. Eee. You guys close enough? Go on then. I don't think Throw you are. Right, we're off again. Um Dawn. Right, we're gonna pitch those away. Don't need those, definitely. Um arrows plus two. These are arrows plus one. Have 
tons of them. I might pitch those as well. Alright. Got some more darts. Where did they go? Did we pick all those up? Do you want I've done had enough of this? Acid arrows, lovely. Bullets plus one. to the wrong person. I keep getting Kagan and Yeslik confused. Too many dwarves in this group. Right. So nothing else of note here, I don't think. I know I am gone. Making sure here. We're getting so swamped in loot it might be very easy for us to bypass what we actually need. I'm on it. The next port of call is going to be down here. And that's probably going to lead in a loop around to here. And then we could go down here. Which I think there's a circular room, so it might come down. Something like that. We'll have to wait and see. What time are we on? 1 hour 10. We might go to 90 minutes, 1 hour 30. For another rather long session. But, uh, well, Dalek's Towers are rather big place isn't it as soon as you start you don't want to stop uh -huh. good on you if you save the day this way but it is ca oh boy oh boy oh boy Immerwin's worst nightmares here spiders she doesn't want to really go any deeper but she has to check for traps oh no why she doesn't want to go She has to go, she has to brave it, she's hidden in shadows, the spiders can't see her. Alright. Missed. Oh, it's a fey spider. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it comes. Take it down. Whoops! I think we got it. I think we got it. Huh, you're this way. Oh no, uh oh. Another thing we can't open. Try to keep up. It's your time to shine, Dawn. Nope. Alright. Nera. What is it this time? It's your time to shine, Nera. What you want this way? Ooh. History of the Gongadal the Lost King. History of Gon Gond Gondagal. What a bloody name. Silver necklace. Why would that be in a rather hard to open lock? Locked crate. Is there anything to do with Derlag? Gondagal. I don't think so. I'll put it back in there just so that we know where it is, but I don't think. It has anything to do with what we need. What is kind of frustrating is the fact that uh, <coughs> there doesn't seem to be anything within that box that seems to be worth the difficulty of the of, of the actual lock itself. Anyway.
we have some form of library. Couple of shells. I've just been walking with my uh, fine traps off. Could have come a cropper there. There you go. Could have been start looking through the damn shelves, isn't it? So what do we got here? We got a potion of hill giant strength. We've got a scroll, another scroll, some more books. History of the Drow, history of Gondagal again. So that's definitely not a book of interest. It's just one of those normal books. A helmet. Oh! Damn it! Shush. Fine traps, I had it on for a little while. We should have found that, seriously. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Oh god, every turn, every <laughs> I think we've been lucky so far. The traps that we've sprung with Imu and haven't killed her outright. They've just sort of tickled her a little bit. <sighs> we've got to be careful, seriously. I'm trying to be careful. I, you know, I can't, I can't go any slower, otherwise we'll be going backwards. Yep. I've done had enough of this. Just go canny. Just go can. Oh my god, what's this? Greater Doppelganger. We have uh, not come across one of these before. This will be a new experience. Three of them? Okay! Guarding a bookcase. Now normally I think, uh, is it worth taking on three Greater Doppelgangers just to get to a single bookshelf? Uh, it's got a, Maybe the Chronicles are in here. Anyway, um, yeah, greater doppelgangers, great stuff. I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do, if we can get this I'll do it. set up properly, um, we, we get go you down rang. to run in. Hi guys! Whoa, what the hell are they doing? Are they all invisible? Oh, they've all mirrored. Oh, and they've hasted themselves as well. Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, I was trying to use fireball. Uh, go down, you might want to run, pal, because a fireball's coming right down here any moment now. I'm on it. Um, you rang? Magic missile, hopefully get, get down some of their mirrors. Don't know how strong these things are, to be honest with you. The quick and the mirrored. Barely injured. This one's badly injured. Not doing too badly. go. I care not. That is I've greater doppelganger for you. They can mirror image and they can haste themselves, but other than that, they're not too bad. Speak and be gone. Sorted. There's one more, isn't there? Come on then. Time to fillet some meat. <laughs> Time to fillet some meat. You Nope, oh, go down taking the brunt of the attacks again. He doesn't mind, he loves it. <laughs> I've 
Don't run away. Don't run in there though. Don't run after him. Could be traps in there. We don't know. Black opal. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? You rang. Yep. I'm gone. <clears throat> Considering they were stood in here, I wouldn't imagine there should be any traps. But then does the game work like that? <laughs> Whoa! Certainly traps there though. We have a mallet head! Woohoo! So we have a mallet head and a mallet um, uh, handle. So we can form a mallet. Uh, how do we. We need to forge. We need to forge the mallet into one piece, don't we? And then we need to, well I'm guessing we need to strike that against the gong. To be Go on then. Make a loud right, sound. Uh, there is a blacksmith up here, so I wonder if we put the mallet head and the mallet handle into the, into the forge, it might meld it together. I mean, I, I, I've obviously I've played this game before, but it was three years ago, and uh, I have very, very, very vague recollections about this place. Very vague, in fact. Spit it out. I'm on it. Right, who has the? I don't want. Kagan has the two bits. Let's just try this out. So, if we open this. Put the mallet in, head and handle. Will it forge it into one thing? Let's move away. No. But there is this that we can use. It's an anvil. A forge commonly used to make or repair tools. So how do we? Maybe we put them. Okay, let's just figure this out here. <laughs> it's something to do with this. I know it is. It's something to do with this. We're forging this mallet together, so we put that and that into there. Then we do, then we do that. You haven't any two pieces to repair. All right. Okay. Now I do have two pieces to repair. So now do it. Yes. The gong mallet is now repaired and ready for use. Aha. You right. So there we go. I'm gonna come back down here. Right. What's this then? And I think we're going to call the session to a close at that point. So we've forged the gong mallet, which we need to strike against a gong to make a loud sound to appease this particular warder. But then we still need some wine, or something that we're well, assuming it's wine, but it sounds like wine. Uh, something glittery. Not sure what that is. Could be money, could be some kind of a gem. And we need to read some chronicles to reveal uh, reveal a sword, was it? Reveal something? Reveal a sword? So there's three more things, three more steps to do. And what we're going to do next time is we are going to head. Um, so we've explored that. We've explored this. So I think the next thing to explore is we're going to uh, head down here in this corridor and see where it takes us. Um... I wonder if actually, all, I, I imagine that all of the pieces of the puzzle for these warders will be on this particular level. Because this is where we're going down, isn't it? We're going down further through, through this. So I imagine that all the other pieces of the puzzle should be somewhere on this level. So join me next time when we shall continue to explore this, this, this floor, looking for what we need to give to the warders. And no doubt picking up even more loot that at some point in the near future we're going to struggle to carry. 
So see you next time.